What's up guys, it's Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. My original plan to start off today's video was to kind of do like a little mix of when I went to Nottingham because actually today I've been to pick up your guys LSJ orders and so we have a hell of a lot of stuff to package and everything like that but the camera died whilst I was on my way there so I didn't even get to record a teeny little bit of it. When I realised I wouldn't be able to vlog it for you guys I decided to kind of put little constant updates on my Instagram story so follow LSJ underscore fitness using the links below or just search it on Instagram guys so you don't miss out on a single thing. I've also just had my pre IV for haircut. I actually leave in two days time at the time of filming this. You guys will be watching this whilst I'm there because I'm prepping ahead so you guys don't have to miss out on any content. So with that said guys I'm going to get to packing. Let's get today's video started. Right, okay, so the process is I have my laptop just to the left of me there telling me who's ordered what and how many of each thing and how it needs to be sent out and everything like that. And so I follow that and I have a packing station, the sellotaping station and the stuff that goes in it right here. So, without further ado guys, post office closes fairly soon, so let's get going. And it's as simple as that guys. So, Aiden, you are first on the list for this order buddy. Enjoy. Lean pre-workout taken, we've got Cam Caroline here today, we are going to do front squats for the second time ever guys, so we're not going to go too heavy, we're going to focus on that form, really build that mind to muscle connection, see how it goes. <laughs> Thoughts on the front squat, Cam? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Cam must have enjoyed it because if he says something's good, it means it's, it's decent. Right guys, so that is the workout finished. It was a great workout with Cam the cameraman as always. What I wanted to talk to you about is the main topic of today's video. Excuse the noise, I'm on the stepper doing some cardio. I'll have IB fit in two days. I'm sure you guys can understand. So what I wanted to actually talk to you guys about was my goals. A few weeks ago, sort of probably a couple of months ago now, I said to myself, right, I want to bench 100 kilos in the home gym before I go to Ibiza. Now that was a very ambitious goal, short term. Considering I only benched 80 kilos for sort of three sets of eight, that was pretty, that was gonna be pretty tough to accomplish, considering I'd already been in a caloric deficit for five months already. I think it's pretty safe to say, guys, that that was not my wisest choice, but that is okay. And I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why. So let me carry this on by saying all the cliche things that come to my mind, like, Rome wasn't built in a day, like, you've got to love the journey, like, trust the process, right? All that is a load of bollocks to most people, but it's true. Going to the gym, this lifestyle is a learning process. It's something you adopt, it's something you do every single day. And what is it about? Growth. What is this series about? Growth. Learning more about yourself, more about your abilities, more about your ambitions, more about your capabilities, your strengths and your weaknesses. Now just because I go to IB for in two days and I know I'm not going to bench 100 kilos before I go, does that mean I'm a failure? Fuck no. Let me tell you why. I still bench 80 kilos, I still overhead press 60 kilos, and I think you'll find guys, I still do that. 20 pounds lighter than I did before. During this cut, guys, over the last few months, my squat form has been perfected, my pull-ups have got better, the, my squats are going a hell of a lot deeper, pause reps, my pull-ups are just stronger, more volume, more reps, more sets on everything, guys, right? And that combined with an overall healthier, happier, more, even more positive mindset than I already had, that, if you ask me, is pretty good personal growth. And that guys is a way that you can turn losing some numbers, losing a bit of weight and looking a little bit smaller into growth. It's 
all in the head, guys. It's all about the mindset. You've got to look deeper than the numbers that you're lifting. You've got to look deeper than what the scales say. You've got to look deeper than benching that 100 kilos. Because at the end of the day, guys, that doesn't matter. That 100 kilos is just an ego lift. It means absolutely nothing. It's just a number that someone wants to hit. Myself included, yeah. But I'll get there one day. Just because that's not today. I've learned and I've accepted that. And now I know, going into my book, how I can achieve that next time. So what I want to ask you guys is, what have you accomplished? Have you been watching me over the last few months and learned something? Have you been watching me for the past few months and think I should have done something else? Learning from it that way. It doesn't matter guys, as long as you are getting something out of these videos, that is all I care about. So what I want you guys to do is comment in the comment section down below what you've learned along your journey, what you've learned from me, what you've learned from yourself, what you think I need to learn. Let me know guys, because you guys supporting me every single day makes this so much easier. You have no idea. I get messages every single day saying I've helped someone's motivation, I've changed someone's mindset, I've helped them with form tips, I've improved their mental health. When, like, in reality guys, they're helping me. They're helping me stay on track. They're helping me achieve my goals. They're helping me stay consistent and grow. There's so many more people now jumping on board, together making a difference, guys. Man, I'm so hyped. The gym gets me so hyped. All this positive endorphins flowing in my body, guys. Buzzing for Ibiza. New low weighing this morning. Together we will grow. Ooh, man, all that ranting got me hungry. With the new low weighing of 174.1 this morning, I thought I would let you guys in a little bit more on my tactics kind of thing when it comes to eating in terms of how that can correlate to weight loss. So what I've been doing for the past few weeks is eating breakfast as late as possible, whether that means even sleeping in bed a little bit longer, just to make sure that I do eat breakfast a little bit later. The second tip will be to schedule your training around your meals. So I make sure I have two decent meals in me, whether I have a wrap for breakfast and some chicken and rice for lunch, and then I train. I never train before I've had two meals, not unless I really, really have to because I don't feel strong enough, I don't feel powerful enough, I don't feel like I'm going to get a good enough workout. So then of course tip number three will be to train and have a sick session because you've got enough energy, enough glycogen in your muscles, you're feeling good, you're mentally ready, you're prepared, you go in the gym and you smash it. Tip number four would be to wait as long as possible before bed to eat your dinner. Now what I'm actually doing right now is nearly 11 o'clock and I'm only just making dinner purely because I'm going to go to bed at like one o'clock in the morning and then I won't be hungry, I can just go to bed satisfied with a jelly pot that's like 10 calories. One thing I forgot to mention that I should probably call tip 3.5, in between training and dinner drink a shit ton of water as much as you possibly can just to curb that hunger which again in turn means you're going to eat less food and less calories before you go to bed. It again goes back to personal growth, what we said in the last clip guys, learning your own body, learning how to almost manipulate your own mind sort of thing in terms of what's going to make you eat less or what you can have that's going to be less calories or what you can do in order to manipulate yourself in a in a way. Now I've been cutting for the past few months and that's a hell of a long time but I'm kind of thankful I've been doing it for that amount of time purely because I now know my own body. I now know how I can manipulate these little different factors in order to help me lose weight quicker. Right, so for dinner tonight, there is 200 grams of Nando spiced chicken, 150 grams of peas, and 200 grams of sweet potatoes. I'm gonna absolutely demolish this because I'm starving after an hour and a half cardio and leg day. When you guys are watching this, I will be in sunny Ibiza. Stay tuned for those videos to find out my final weigh-ins, and this cut has been going on for a long, 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 long time, so it should be interesting to see in those vlogs how much I actually weigh. So thanks so much for watching guys, drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to turn on that notification bell because apparently YouTube just doesn't like to tell subscribers when people upload videos anymore. But that's a completely different issue for a different video. Thank you so much for watching as always guys, together we will grow, no regrets. I'll see you guys in Ibiza. Actually no I won't, there'll be a Q&A first and then I'll see you guys in Ibiza. <laughs>